Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I thought I would share with you my top kitchen gadgets. If you guys follow me on Instagram or any of my vlog videos, then you know that I love me some good kitchen gadgets. So I thought I'd share some of my top ones in this video. Now I am hosting a Pampered Chef party, which closes on November 29th. So when you're watching this, there's a few days for you left to order. It's open to anybody in Canada. I don't personally sell Pampered Chef. I just love the products. <laughs> so I thought that I would share with you guys in this video some of my favorite Pampered Chef products as well as some other products that um, you can find on Amazon or Bed Bath & Beyond. Just some really good kitchen gadgets that I use all of the time in my kitchen. You guys see them in vlogs and Instagram often and I get tons of questions whenever I show them so this is kind of like a collect all video to show you guys some of my top products so we are gonna make hamburger soup today which is actually another uh, requested video of mine because whenever I again I share it on Instagram I get tons of people asking uh, how you made it for recipes anything like that I also get messages often asking like if I can share the recipe and in all honesty when I cook it's kind of just like a throw everything together. I don't really measure very many things unless it's like a specific recipe that I need to measure things for, but I will do my best to leave in the description box below all the ingredients that I've used for this recipe. So let's jump into my top kitchen gadgets and I'll show you guys how I make hamburger soup. <laughs> I'm gonna do this video in like a cook with me style and then that way you can see all of the products kind of in action. So when I cook hamburger soup, I do use my crock pot to cook it because that way I can cook all day long and I can put it in first thing in the morning. And I like to use these Reynolds crock pot, slow cooker, whatever you call it, liners, uh, just so it makes the mess at the end of the day a lot easier to clean up. For the vegetables, I like to use this bag holder that I found on Amazon to hold a Ziploc bag that I can put any of the leftover vegetables into. What I do with this is I freeze these leftover vegetables and I make stock down the road, which had I been prepared in this video, I would have done that ahead of time so that we wouldn't have had to use like stock from the store. One of my most used Pampered Chef products are these cutting boards. I specifically like this large one because of the ridge that is on it. So I use that for like watermelon or from cutting up meats or anything and these are dishwasher safe. I do have the medium size one as well, which I use all of the time for prep work, but I do want the smaller size one, which is about half of the size, I believe, of the medium size one, because I do a lot of prep work for like snacks and stuff throughout the day and I don't really need to bust out a big one like this. A next up favorite is the batter bowl in the classic size. I love this thing for either piling in vegetables if I'm gonna make soups or anything, or for making my sauce directly in here if I'm making like a casserole or anything like that. I love how large this is so that I can make quite a bit of a sauce if I need to, or put in quite a bit of vegetables in here as well. There is a smaller version of this as well, and if you spend over $100, um, I believe it's for this specific month, then you get the small one, which is a $20 value free in your order. So that's kind of a good deal, and I look forward to getting the small one this month. These batter bowls are made of glass and they're super sturdy. They also come with a lid too if you had to make like a sauce or something ahead of time. So as you guys can see, I'm putting in all of the extra vegetables that I'm not gonna be putting into my soup or cooking with into that bag so that I can freeze them later on. This seriously makes the best homemade stock just to save your vegetable ends like this. I do this with all of the vegetables that I cook with in my house. Or if something is like on the verge of like going bad in my fridge, I will put it in a bag and freeze it for at a later time so that I can make stock with it as well. So far the vegetables that I've cut up are one medium onion as well as a bunch of celery to put in my soup. A next kitchen must have for me is the clothes-in cut. I love this thing for slicing tomatoes, grapes, and chicken. That's what I use it the most for. Um, you can get it with the knife in a set or you can just purchase them individually. I have tried to use other knives with it and it doesn't cut as smooth as using the knife that it's designed to be cut with, but it cuts everything so easy. I love how smooth it is and it's great for something that's kind of difficult to cut like a tomato or a grape that might get a little bit mushy. The next item that I'm gonna add to my hamburger soup is cabbage. I love the taste of cabbage in soups. I don't specifically like to eat cabbage, but if you've ever tried to cook with cabbage in a soup, it adds so much flavor to anything that you're cooking it with. So I bought a giant cabbage and I ended up freezing probably about three quarters of it to use at a later time. One item that has been recommended to me from one of you guys is called the Handy Scraper, which is something that I look forward to adding to my wish list for this specific event because it's supposed to be great for lifting up vegetables and like dumping them in a crock pot for example and that is something that is 100% going on my wish list. If you keep up with my Instagram or I may have mentioned this in vlogs but the McCormick Boolean vegetable 
cubes make any soup taste fantastic. Anytime I am making a soup, I put these in. My magic number that I like in like a giant soup this big would probably be about six of them. And it just adds so much flavor to your soups. Get some, try it. I promise you it'll just make your soup so much better. I'm adding some other spices now. I usually like to add Mrs. Dash onion, pow onion powder, garlic pepper, and a little bit of seasoning salt to any of my soups. The next thing that I'm adding to my soup is a can of crushed tomatoes. I find this really makes your hamburger soup taste a lot better. Uh, even if you don't really like tomatoes, it does add a lot of flavor. And I did decide to add a can of mixed beans this specific day. I'm gonna throw in some frozen corn as well as some frozen peas. While I'm getting that all together, I am going to cook up my ground beef. This is probably my hands down favorite kitchen gadget from Pampered Chef, and this is the mix and chop. I use this all the time for ground beef. I use it for eggs as well, and there are so many different uses that you can use it for, but it's great because it makes everything a really smaller meat. And also, if there's a little bit of frozen chunks or anything in the hamburger as well, it'll kind of break that up too. And for scrambled eggs, it just makes like them just nice and small and great. So I I do use this quite a bit. I am gonna season my beef a little bit and then let it cook and come back and just uh, ground it up a little bit more. Once that's cooked, I'm gonna add that to my slow cooker as well. And I'm gonna go in and add two containers of beef stock. Like I had mentioned, had I been prepared for this video, I could have made my own homemade stock for it, but this is just a super quick meal. So I wanted to share with you guys how I would make it if I didn't have stock ready to go. This is one item that I didn't expect to love as much as I do. This is the bamboo spoon set, and I received this as like a free gift with spending over a certain amount at a party that I attended at one point, and I love these. They are such good quality. I love how one is longer, one is shorter. I love the scoop of the top of it as well because it's great for stirring, but it's also great for like dishing stuff out after you've made your meal as well. So I'm gonna use this to stir up the hamburger soup, and that's it, you guys. I let this cook for about eight hours throughout the day. I put it on first thing in the morning, and it's ready for supper at the end of the evening. This lid holder is another item that I did not know that I needed until I got it. This is from Amazon and I love that it holds my lids, especially if your lids are full of like water or moisture or anything. It doesn't get all over your countertop. It holds it nice and firm up top there. It also has a little spot here so you can rest your spoon on it too. I'm gonna share with you guys a couple of my other favorite Pampered Chef products that I'm not demoing for you for the hamburger soup. This is the wedger and this is, they call it an apple wedger, uh, but I use this all the time in the morning for basically cutting apples, but you can use it to cut so many other things as well. I also love the serrated peeler. I have used like inexpensive, cheaper peelers in the past and it's just so frustrating when it just gets caught all the time. And I decided to invest in a good quality one and I'm so glad I do because I use this all the time. The scoop loop is something that I did not know I needed until I got it. It was designed to scoop like seeds and stuff out of your fruits and vegetables. I originally got it for cantaloupe and honeydew, but I actually use it the majority of the times to scoop out pepper seeds because we cook with a ton of peppers and vegetables as you guys saw. The scoop and spread was another item that I had got, I think as like a free gift with purchase or something. And I love this thing. I love it for doing peanut butter toast first thing in the morning. I love how this one side here is nice and flat and easy to scoop anything out of. And then the other side is serrated so that you can cut whatever it is that you are putting it on before you put it on. I use this all of the time for peanut butter toast and sandwiches, and I much prefer it to like a butter knife. <laughs> this spoon holder is not from Pampered Chef. It's called From Tomorrow's Kitchen. And I found this at Bed Bath & Beyond. I love this because it holds multiple utensils and I cook with a ton of different types of utensils when I'm cooking a supper or a meal or anything. So I love that this holds multiple things which brings me to another item this utensil is one of my favorite utensils from pampered chef i love this scoop of the spoon and you used to be able to get these individually but now i see that they are available in like a multi-tool pack and i don't personally love that they are like bright colored now but i do love this spoon and it fits great in the dishwasher too another most used product in my kitchen are these measuring scoop set i love these because they are transparent so you can see through them they're very high quality plastic I've had these for probably about seven years and I've had 
no product breakdown or anything with them. I love the slant of it because it's designed to be able to go into packaging and scoop things out a little bit easier. I use the adjustable measuring spoons all of the time. I love that you only need two spoons for any of your different measurements that you need. So it comes with a small and it comes with a large one for your tablespoons and your teaspoon measurements. Every time I make breaded chicken or breaded pork, I use the coating trays. This was an item that I wasn't too sure if I was gonna get a ton of use out of or love, but I can tell you guys that I absolutely love this thing. I put my liquids in the middle container and then I have my flour on the left and I have like my seasonings or my crackers on the right. And then this way I can dip in between all of the different ingredients that I need to make breaded pork chops or uh, breaded chicken is what I've mostly used it for. I also like that this stores compactly and it's really easy to put it together whenever you need to set it up. This stainless steel strainer set I absolutely love. We use this all of the time. I love that it comes with three different sizes of strainers. Uh, you have your small one, you have your medium, and you have your large one. The small one is probably my most used because I use it to strain like tomatoes or strawberries or anything like that quite often. But the large one is a great size for pasta and any of your bigger things too. Whenever I make homemade stock, I use both the large and the medium one to strain out all of the ingredients from my stock. I have had these for probably about seven years as well and they have not rusted or anything like that. They are still in great shape and I use them all of the time. My second last kitchen gadget that I use often and I'm glad that I found is this OXO Tot grape cutter. I use this for my toddler when she was first starting out eating grapes and I still use it to this day for quartering any grapes or tomatoes or anything like that for her to eat. Hamburger soup is one meal that I can just set it and forget it. And for me personally, cooking first thing in the morning in my crock pot works a heck of a lot better because it's not quite as rushed in the morning. I forgot one product I wanted to share with you too though. And I can't believe I forgot this. It's probably like my favorite Pampered Chef product. It is their bar pan. This is the large one. It looks like it's well used, well loved, and that's because it is. <laughs> this thing is probably over seven years old. Uh, I love this thing. And it's just, it's a baking sheet, but it's made out of stoneware. So it's super easy to clean. And the longer that you have it, the better seasoned it tends to get. So this thing, we've cooked so many different things on it. We cook chicken fingers, we cook chicken wings, we cook any sort of bake, baking items, we cook cookies, anything on here. Nothing rarely sticks to this, and if it does, all you do to clean it is scrape it with this. You don't use soap, you don't use anything besides water and scraping it, and it works so, so well. So even though we cook like chicken fingers and stuff in it and then go and cook cookies in it at a different time, the flavors don't transfer from the food, which is something that I really like, but my favorite part about this is how easy it is to clean, um, especially because we don't use any other metalware in our kitchen anymore ever since replacing them with these. We have two of these, we have the pizza pan and we have a loaf pan, which I use for meatloaf and and uh, banana bread. And that's really all that I personally need for any sort of oven baking essentials. So I can't believe I forgot to share that with you guys. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it gave you some ideas for some of my favorite kitchen essentials. A lot of them are Pampered Chef product things. Like I said, I don't sell Pampered Chef. I just host parties every once in a while uh, with my Pampered Chef rep. I probably should sell it though with how much I love it, but I just, I can't take the time to do that right now. So instead of me selling it, I just like to support the mom businesses out there. So um, my party, like I mentioned, is open until November 29th. After that, you can definitely still order from um, my Pampered Chef rep if you're in Canada or uh, the website will give you links to different people that you can find in the States as well. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and comment below and let me know what your favorite kitchen gadget is, whether it's Pampered Chef or something else. I love me some good kitchen gadgets, so I love to know what else is out there. See you guys in the next video. Bye.